Well, we're tracking Maria still in the Atlantic Basin, a Category 1 storm. Not quite as intense as it was even just a couple of days ago, but a devastating storm nonetheless last week as it went through the Caribbean, making landfall as a Category 5 near Dominica, and then a Category 4 one day later in Puerto Rico. A lot of devastation left in the wake of that storm system. Now, a uh, slow-moving front is moving through the central U.S., picking up some uh, pretty decent rainfall tallies, especially over the southern plains, but uh, temperatures on the western side of that have been very cool, very fall-like, and we're going to start to see that shift east now. So there is a view of Maria as of early Monday. Again, continues to lift north. Here's the official track from the National Hurricane Center. You can see some blue colors here for eastern North Carolina. Those are tropical storm warnings, and the fact is, is that we're going to have some tropical storm force winds build into the region today, tonight, and even Wednesday as it nears the coast, but then by the end of the week, it will begin to shift east away from the coast, and we'll have some improving weather then thereafter, but uh, high rip current potential, uh, beach erosion, high surf, and even tropical storm force winds expected in these particular areas. Uh, Tuesday, Hatteras could see a 53 mile per hour wind, and then uh, Wednesday, Tuesday night, rather, 55 mile per hour wind gusts, and then Wednesday still pretty strong, and tropical storm force winds continuing there. So the storm lifts north and continues to see those uh, deteriorating weather conditions through uh, the next 48 hours to almost 72 hours as it kind of stalls offshore midweek, and then again, by the end of the week, it will uh, roll east, but some heavy rainfall, also a possibility out near Hatteras, 1.7 inches. Lee continues as a hurricane, pretty defined eye, but this storm system is going to be tracking west and then eventually back to the northeast as we head closer to this upcoming weekend. Pilar has dropped down to tropical depression status. We also have some strong thunderstorms, again, maybe an isolated threat here and there across the region, but more so just some decent rainfall, especially over west Texas. Temperatures up from Chicago down to Dallas will be into the lower 90s and expecting some record heat as well.